Well, we've just got out in Rapids, Michigan, and uh, we're on our way to see our motorhome for the first time. Pick it up, and uh, hopefully this will be the start of our journey of our life. Look forward to it, and uh, we're both very excited. And then we're going to head over to Ann Arbor, and uh, uh, John's going to give us a two-day RV training course so we don't crash it on the way home. Two days of RV school. Coming up. Anastasia is going to learn how to use the radios, and I'm going to learn how to drive it. So that's the plan. Your show crew technician has texted me. We're right on schedule. You're just finishing the final wash. Well, the wait's almost over. Yes! Wait is almost over. Do these, I like to take you around the outside first, and we'll throw okay. that, we'll head on in. Okay. And this is your water bay. It looks scary, but I, it's a lot simpler than it looks. Basically, this hose right here is what you're going to connect to a spigot. And that's what's running water in the unit. So if you got fresh water fill or your city water. So here are these back two valves right here are just your low point drains for the hot and cold lines. Up above that is gonna be that motorizing valve. So when you have it turned this way, or this way, that's gonna turn this end of the hose into suction. So you could put that into a jug of antifreeze and then turn your water pump on. And then that's gonna draw from that jug and pump it through the lines. Okay. The SantaCon pump is your macerator. It's this thing. Basically, it's a poop grinder. This is the outside shower, obviously. Turn your water on, and you got a little bit of spray out here. It does have the water filter system on it. Mm -hmm. so you can do, turn the generator on and off from the inside, but if something inside were to ever go wrong and you needed to turn it on somewhere else, you can just do it from the switch right here. Storage bay. Those are all your batteries. These four are your house batteries. These two are your chassis batteries. That's just your uh, inverter and battery charger. Fuel fill, the uh... Never touch that really. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the remotes are all going to be in the top okay. drawer. Gotcha. Uh, but you got different colors. Get the engine going to air off. It's got a little bit of air oh, left in there. Here. Okay. Now you're you're ready to go. You're good to go. In. Here we go. If you're not in the orange, and you're good. It's quite necessary. I don't mean to sell you on your own retail order coach, but this is one of the quietest DX3s I've ridden on. Really? All hands down. I don't hear anything back here. We're on our own, all checked out. Met with the finance guy, met with Bob. 
got checked out. And, uh, we had our walkthrough, which didn't go particularly great. We had a very young man who didn't really know much about the RV. Probably more than me, but certainly couldn't ask answer the challenging questions. And, you know, this walkthrough was supposed to be four hours. Well, he didn't even last an hour. We're not total newbies, pretty newbies. So we'll see how we do. We're, we're on our way to Ann Arbor. Actually, we're on our way to Trader Joe's. We're going to stock the refrigerator, maybe buy some wine. We'll probably need it <laughs> and, uh, and head off. First parking. We'll get better soon. got to the campground, we parked to check in. That went fairly smoothly, a little slow, but we got um, space 86 and did the pull through, which is always nice when you're in a big RV. So how was this three hours drive? It's a little more tiring than a car, but then again, it's my first two and a half hours in the new motorhome. We got in the RV looking to drive to Space 86 and it wouldn't start. From here, the trip has started going south and not in the directional way. Uh, Jared said, turn the, turn the chassis off. There's a button next to the driver's door uh, that shuts off the whole chassis. He said, shut that off for 15 minutes, turn it back on and try again. And sure enough, it started right up. Yeah, but for like 15 minutes we were terrified. So anyway, we pull in the Space 86, and I plug in and hook up water. And the water is running all over the place, and uh, so that didn't work. I had to shut that off. So I knew that that was a problem. And I tried to turn on the air conditioners because it was rather warm, and they wouldn't come on. So I called my friend John, who we're going to RV driving school tomorrow, and he's a very, very nice man. Yeah. He said, you know, I'll be out in 15 minutes. So he went from his home to uh, to our campsite and he helped us with everything. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Thank you, Chad. John, you're, welcome, John, yeah. you're our you're savior. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah, both. thank See you. you. See you tomorrow. You ready to learn how to drive this? I am ready. Are you ready? Uh, we'll see. Good morning. <laughs> all the tools. All the tools, the absolutely. Tools. So why don't we, uh, let's sit at the picnic table and we'll. Do a little work Chat? and talk a little, talk yeah. a little bit. How'd you guys sleep? Like a baby. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Um, the uh, everything performed as expected, or any um, any I, bumps, any hiccups, any no? I think it questions. Did. I think, immediate questions. well, everything we wanted to do, we were able to do. Okay. And you were you were you were a lightsaber yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. What I'd like to do is we're gonna do to start with. We're gonna do a pre-trip inspection. And we do that really to show you what you need to be looking at before you move the rig every day. We're gonna check tire pressures. Uh, I brought a tire gauge for you for that. We're going to uh, check brake lights and turn signals and all of the usual things. If you're towing, you would do the same thing. Make sure everything works on the back, on the car, make sure everything's connected properly before you move every day. Um, we're gonna talk about checking fluid. fluid. Did they show you on the Allison transmission how to check the transmission fluid electronically without getting out of the car and opening the hood? No. Then we'll show you that. Are you going to drive? No. No? Never? Never. Okay. No. I would like to show you what to do in an emergency. Okay. So if something ever happens to him, you can at least secure the vehicle in, in that process. Okay? okay. All right. Yeah. Every campground is funny. They have a sign that says, dump the trash, lower the antenna, check your steps, make sure your wife's on board. Yeah, <laughs> um, in, in that order. In that order. So let's uh, let's go ahead and pull out. We're gonna go to a parking lot and pr do some practice maneuvering. Um, get some coffee. Oh, I'll get some coffee first, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that reminder. Coffee. Every, every turn is wide and slow. You know, I mean, I, I really like the way the Super C is dry. Yep. Yep. So we're going to do some maneuvering here. We're going to pretend 
simulate some things, streets, corners, intersections, things of that nature. You've done a good job getting here. Uh -huh. So we're gonna we're just gonna practice a couple of things. Let's proceed. Um, let's do a couple of right hand turns and, and you've done those already, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. get a feel for it. Yep, it'll, 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 become, it'll become muscle, muscle memory. John John gave me a C minus so far, so I got I got to work harder. Uh, C minus. C minus. Oh. Yeah, he, he doesn't even pass you if you don't get a B plus. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna keep working. This is come on back. You wanna? Yeah, I know if you wanna film it or not. Come on back. This is to the left. That's the back end to the left. This is to the right. And they're big motions, because that's the only way he's going to be able to see you. Big motion. And then this is stop. OK? Good. Good. She passed. She gets an A. Well, I thought uh, this is the pivot point. Yep. Yep. I would have thought I would have been almost more, you know, yeah, this yeah. far. Well, but you're you're moving away from it at the same time you're swinging out. That's so true. That's the gift. The trick to parallel parking is you, you you're gonna approach you're gonna approach this way, and we're gonna park here. So you're gonna approach, and then you're gonna back in. And the key is when you see the back cone in this mirror, that's when you start to turn in this way. Okay. This way he's about two or three feet off the cone and when he gets to here you pitch out and then you back up into the campsite Straighten out the wheels. There you go. And then stop them right at the orange cone in the back. There you go. Perfect. Whatever, we'll do one more set of drills. Let's do some parking here, yep. and then we'll go weigh it, and then we'll go back to the camera. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Remember a couple of feet before the back yeah. wheel. Yeah. And then you actually, for the parallel parking, you go past. And then when he backs up, when he gets to the pivot point, he turns in. So hang on one second. first stop sign. 
you can practice my parallel parking. There you go. This is one of those reasons when you need it. Watch the curb back there. Watch the curb. Have we, have we covered some of the things you need to cover? You think we've answered questions? You, well, you can I, tell I, what, we, what we covered today. So we, we did the backing, and we did parallel parking, and we did 90 degree uh, driver's side, 90 degree passenger side works the same way. 45 degrees just easier than 90, Yeah. because it's less of an angle. Um, set the mirrors. Set the mirrors. Practice turning and cornering around curbs, so we didn't ride up on curbs, get wide as necessary. Um, navigated traffic on the highway, uh -huh. entry and exit, and merging and all of that kind of stuff. All of that went well. Uh, we weighed it, so we're underweight. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, had a little bit of the issue with the electronics and the, the engine modules and whatever those are, so we'll have to figure that out. We'll it was a great day. The driving school with John as an instructor was a lot of fun. But, as you can see, Jeff is upset because now it's obvious that our RV has a defect. It doesn't start after continuous driving. I guarantee it'll start. Okay, yeah, of course because it will. Because it's, it's, it not starting is extremely intermittent yeah, yeah. to the extent where I think it's me. Yeah, okay. But well, we could we could do some city driving. We could do some more highway driving if you wanted to tomorrow. Wh whatever works. Yeah. I, I do want to come back and make you sure you guys get started. At yeah. Least well, in, I, one, in that process. Yeah. Right? One, one thing. Uh, well, we could certainly I can certainly text you and let okay. you know if we're running. Okay. Um, and well, if thing, not, I'll come over and we'll give you a ride to the Freightliner place and we'll arrange a tow truck to come get you if that's the case or whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah. the other thing is uh, maybe it'd be best if we got it to Freightliner early. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. The M2? Yeah, the M2. With the intermittent starting issue? Yeah. Okay. And that's intermittent, no crank, right? Um, dead as a doornail. It won't uh, crank over. It, no, it, it, you, don't crank even, you don't even hear anything. No. If you, if that's all I know. No crank. Yeah. No, no crank. Right. Makes me think you just got a loose battery cable or starter cable or something. Well, that's, that's, that's what we think. Yeah. Finding it makes like, it's just cooling 15, down is yeah. all it's doing. Yeah. Oh, but it heats up, your connections will spread. And you'll yeah, ex exactly. Ah. Right, now I'm going to try to get you looked at today. Thanks, That'd buddy. be great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It was so nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Good luck with everything yeah. and all your travels. <laughs> it, it, you, you will enjoy this yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. It's so helpful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I hope uh, I hope we can meet on the road sometime. Absolutely. I'll keep the, I'll keep your I'll keep your cell phone yeah. just to yeah. touch Absolutely. base. Yeah, and uh, and I'll watch for the rig. Well, yeah. We'll see you in a campground somewhere. Okay, okay wonderful. <laughs> All right, thank you again. Thanks. I uh, appreciate again. the hit. Jeff is working, and we are stuck here waiting for our RV to be serviced. So who knows how long it will take. Maybe we are going to spend the night here. Maybe we will leave today. Okay. So oh, what? Yeah. We found the bad ground. No, you're all good to go. So we're gonna give it the ultimate test? Yes. This is when it normally yes. doesn't start. Yes. Keep your fingers crossed. Nope. Oh. Okay, so what are we doing? We're gonna, I mean, what, I mean I'm not gonna go back to another Freightliner place mm -hmm. and sit there all day. So Friday, Saturday, we'll be home Sunday. We've decided to bring the RV to Florida home and deal with its issues there, but it's got 
worse along the way and we are changing our plans. Okay, I, I think we need to go to Freightliner. But now it looks like the uh, service engine soon lights on the yellow light. Let's try and start it again, it wouldn't start. Okay. So then let it, again, let it sit for 15, 20 minutes and then it starts. On top of that, now I've got the engine light, so service engine right. light. What's the latest about our RV? Um, so it looks like you need a knock sensor. Um, it is coming out of Indianapolis. Um, it will either be here on Monday or hopefully tomorrow. Of course, the needed part for the RV did not come tomorrow or the following day. So uh, we ended up by spending the weekend in Cincinnati. We stayed in a nice hotel downtown Cincinnati and was very impressed by the city. Clean, green, spacious, situated on the picturesque banks of the Ohio River. It was a really fun weekend. So on one side of the bridge it's Ohio and on the other side of the bridge it's Kentucky. Airport again. Why are we at the airport again? Because Dynamax delivered a new DX3 motorhome in less than stellar condition. Broke down every 200 miles for the first 600. So let them deal with it. Pick it up when they think it's ready. Where's our RV? It's at Freightliner in Walton, Kentucky. For the seven days we've owned it. It's been a Freightliner for five, so a little disappointing. And another big disappointment is that we've had to cancel our whole nicely planned around America summer fall 2022 trip. All 50 carefully picked campgrounds we have to cancel. It's not going to happen this summer. <laughs> 